Oh, hello there. And how is everybody today? <laughs> oh, I am so delighted to hear that. Oh, and me? Oh, I am doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you for asking. And the weather here? Well, if you've noticed, I am in my <clears throat> Italian clothing today. Why Italian? Because today, here in England, we have 28 degrees outside. It is sizzling hot. And it also happens to be exactly the same temperature in Verona, Italy, where my priest, priest pal, Father Ludovic, is serving. <laughs> you should be over here, Father. <laughs> Well, imagine that. And here's the other good thing. With all of this sunshine and my solar panels, I have free electricity today. And what am I going to do with all this free electricity? I'm going to take a flight. What else? <laughs> so where shall we go today? Well, I had a message from Chiamatis. Kyme, who wrote to say, hello, Captain, how are you today? <laughs> Very well, thanks. Please fly your Ryanair 186 from Innsbruck to Luton. Mm. And why not? Why not indeed? Now, Innsbruck is L-O-W-I and Luton is E-G-G-W. Now, I did check. There are no direct flights between Innsbruck and Luton, so we have to make our own flight plan. So this is an opportunity now to show you another feature of Navigraph charts. That's the one where you can make an automatic flight plan right within charts itself. Now, I'm going to go into the simulator in just a moment, but I wanted to tell you that the Innsbruck scenery was made by Just Sim, and the Luton scenery was made by UK2000. We're going to start off at stand seven in Innsbruck, and hopefully we'll be able to pull in to a vacant, available stand seven in Luton when we land. Mm. So thank you, Kaime, for your suggestion. I hope that you like the flight today. So right then, the ground crews are very busy washing the windows, checking the tires, and most importantly, filling up the galley with excellent champagne and tubs and tubs of fine caviar. So if you're ready, Let's pop over to the pre-flight room and make our flight plan in Navigraph charts. Are you ready? Well, here we are, we're in Navigraph charts. So the first thing that we want to do is we need to click on flights, click new flight, manual input. Now the origin is L-O-W-I. Innsbruck, and the destination is EGGW, which is Luton, England. Now down here is a little box that says auto generate my route. So if I tick on that and then create, there it is. There's the whole route from one end to the other. Now, why did they pick this route? Well, let me go up here 
and instead of um, world map, we'll choose high on route. Now it becomes a little clearer. Here you can see we're following jetways all the way, all the way along until we get to Logan, which is that final point on here, and then it will depend on the approach chart for this. So let's go in and put some charts in, shall we? We need to get those in. So we'll open the charts list for Innsbruck. We do need the takeoff minimums on that. Now we don't know what SID we're going to be using yet until we get the flight plan, so we'll pass on that. Instead, we're going to go and to EGGW and we're going to put in parking stands and coordinates and airport info right there. And there is just the one runway, so there's not going to be an awful lot of choice on that. And therefore the approach and which star we'll be using, well that we will wait until we get our flight plan. But let's have a look first at Windy. Now here we are at L-O-W-I, Innsbruck. And there it is, nestled in the valley at the bottom. It says the wind is 270 degrees, 9 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more. There are a few clouds at 6,000 feet, the temperature is 19. We're warmer than they are. Q&H 1020, high pressure. But it also says it's VFR. So if the wind is coming from 260 degrees, let's see. I don't know. It may be that this from here will be the one that will take 260, but we'll have to find out. Now over here at EGGW at Luton, the wind is looking fairly clear, coming from 110 degrees, 9 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, no clouds. All of England is under sunshine at the moment. They are 14 deg 22 degrees at Luton and the Q&H is 1015 and it again is VFR. So if the wind is coming basically from this direction it suggests a landing on runway 07 but we shall have to see. So let's go into sim brief. Airline, we are Ryanair, we are 186, we're departing LOWI, we're going to go to EGGW, EGCC is our alternate, we are Ryanair 186, a B737-800 for the airframe, cruise profile is 6, here's our registration, Schedule flight time is 2 hours 10 minutes. Ah, departure is runway 27 and arrival is 07. But let's have a look at this. Oh, we we'll put in first of all four passengers and one ton of precious cargo. I want to go and have a look at the Navigraph charts and go into type route and let's see what this is, shall we? So I'm going to make a copy of that. Go to Sim Brief. And I'm going to go down here and paste this over the top and analyze that route. And there it is, it's come up, it's a good route. All right, we will save the flight. And we're going to go over here, generate a flight plan, and let's see what we actually get. It'll be interesting to see what the flight level we're given for the cruise. Oh, 
Fly level 300, not as high as I thought it would. But it's planned optimum flight level according to this. Airtime is 1 hour 36. That's from starting the clock to stopping it at the other end. Block fuel 7,531. And there's the route. What I'm going to do now is let's have a look at all of the information. There is the flight level for this particular flight. And then here's the average wind. We will need that. Block fuel, we will need that. And the reserves and the trip and taxi, we will need that also. And then looking down, Here's the part that we will actually use to bring in the flight plan. And down on this page for the descent, there's the descent information that we will need. Let's go all the way down and have a look at what the en route weather is going to be. Ah, a little bit of a frontal movement coming in, looks like from the west. We are told that to expect some thunderstorms tonight. But here's the wind direction at 18,000 feet, 24,000 feet and 30,000 feet. Now we have some almost tailwinds, although more crosswind than anything until we get to this waypoint. And then we've got tailwinds, which take us all the way into EGGW. And there, there is our EGCC, Manchester is our alternate. And there's the profile. Start out here at Lowy. Look at that. We have to climb and cross all those high mountains. And then we come down to almost sea level down at Luton Airport. All right. So we have that information that we know what we have. So let's go back into Navigraph charts. Cancel that. Now we're departing on runway 26. So if we take off on runway 26, then it will be the so this is the departure for the, the multi 1X. I think that we can make that. So we will put this one in. So we're going to use the, the multi 1X. So we'll add that and see it has made the necessary change that we need. And now let's go to our arrival. And we're going to be coming in on runway seven. So we will need category three and bring that in. But we want the Logan. There it is, the Logan 2A. And then that brings us down straight in, make the curve, and then come in for a final on ILS runway seven there. So we'll be making that at Abbott. Okay, then there is our route. Everything is in. 
and we'll have the Logan 2A, we'll also put that in, because here's the overlay. Yes, yes, we're going to do very well. So close that, that, and that. And now we are ready to go into the cockpit and get ourselves started. There you are, Kaime. Come on in, take your seat. It happens to be vacant because Father Ludovic is in Italy with temperatures not as good as we have here in England today. Ha! Well, no matter. Here we are in beautiful Innsbruck. Look at this. This is magnificent scenery. Magnificent scenery. This scenery is by Just Sim and it is absolutely lovely. It is very, very detailed and it's not hard on the frame rate either with all of this detail, all these mountains in the background. I have active sky running as well and I am 42 frames per second on the three big screens in front of me. One of the nice things about this airport is that they seem to have tamed the kamikaze <laughs> uh, vehicles. They're all parked. Oh well, rejoice, rejoice that we don't have to play tag with that lot. Well, buckle up. And if you're ready, let's get ourselves started, shall we? First thing we need to do is turn on the battery, make sure that we've got some voltage there. We're showing 24 volts. Then we turn on the fuel pumps and let's start the APU. I'm going to be waiting for 115 volts to appear on here, but I'm going to watch the engine gas temperature rise on this gauge. There it goes. And then it will swing back down and then I can turn on the APU switch up here and here to make sure that I've got 115 volts. Then we can get things started. There we are. We now have 115 volts. So turn on the galley. Turn on the IRS to get ourselves and the GPS set up. Emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. And over here, left and the right window heat. We'll turn on the probes in advance. Here's the electrical hydraulic pump. Forward service hatch is open and the equipment is down because our passengers are starting to load. Now we'll turn on the bleed and the air conditioning packs. And you heard that rush of air. 
Now I'm going to put the flight altitude in here at 80,000 feet, 30,000 feet I should say, and our landing altitude is 500 feet. So that's that's the airport elevation is actually 526, so it's close to 500. That's what we'll do. And put the steady light on so everybody knows that we are getting ourselves ready in here. Now the instrument panel has lit up. So now we need to enter the information into the FMC. So I'll clear this position and we are lowing. So L O W I. We're at stand seven. Not in the database, which is okay. So we'll go down to next page. And here we've got our location. Push that into the temporary previous page and put that in. Next, we need to go to the root, so we'll put in L-O-W-I. We're going to go to E-G-G-W. We are Ryanair 186, so R-Y-R 186. Go to next page. Now we need to put in the information. We are KPT is the first one, so KPT. And then we go on the Lima 608, Lima 608, until we get to Ridsu, R-I-D-S-U, so R-I-D-S-U. And then we take the Zulu 114, Zulu 114 until we get to Adenu A D E N U Then we take the Lima 608 again and this time to C O A C O A and now we take the Lima 179 until we get to Saski. S A S K I. And then we take the Lima 608. Lima 608 until we get to Logan, L-O-G-A-N. And now we activate, and there's our flight plan. Now we'll go into departures and arrivals. For this, we need to tune in to the, to the local Innsbruck ATIS and see what they say. So that would be 120.1. Innsbruck Airport Information, Whiskey 0905 Win, Zulu, Visibility 267 at 7, greater than 20 miles, sky condition, temperature, few clouds at 7,000, dew point, altimeter 2112, 101, Niner, landing departing, runway 26, VFR aircraft, say direction of flight, all aircraft read back home, short instructions, advise control on initial contact you have, Whiskey. So we have whiskey and it is runway 26 in use. And we will be taking that special departure, the Multi 1X. So the Multi 1X is in there. Now we'll go to arrivals. We're anticipating ILS 07 and we'll be coming in on the Logan 2A. There's the Logan 2A, Transition Abbott. 
So let's uh, go now into legs and then let's go through this and just check. So we're stepping through each of these legs. We need to bring that up. So far, so good. Batty, Tilla, Sugri, there's COA. There's a lot. There's Logan. There's the Abbott. And there's the Track. And then that brings us out there and we make the turn coming back to land on 07 and hold at Luton should anything go wrong okay we have a good plan so we'll put all of that in good now we'll go for our fix, EGGW, and we'll need a 4 mile, a 10 mile, and a 30 mile fix. Go into descent now and into forecast. We need 200, 150, 100. Our Q and H at our destination is showing as 1014, 1014, and then for 200 it is 16618, and at 150 it is 161 at 15, And at 100, it is 14311. Execute that. Right, we are set up, ready to make the initialization. The plant fuel is, well, reserves at 2,609. The trip and taxi is 4,288. That makes 6,897 or 6.9. 6 6.9. The reserves are 2.6. Double click on the zero fuel weight to make the calculation. Cost index is 6. Our flight altitude is. 330,000 and then our cruise wind is 96 at 14 transition altitude is 6,000 feet 21 degrees here we'll take that Takeoff will use flaps 10. Double click on the that. It says that our center of gravity is 25.4. The trim is 4.63. And there's the B2 setting. So if we're taking off on runway 26, we need to set this up for 257. That's our course. So put a heading here of 257 and over here as well. And put in the Mac 146. Turn on the yaw and let's check to see that we have 
a good plan and we've got green lights so we are good to go I see that everybody is on board so we'll bring up the stairs and close the doors and next we need to make sure everything is all right and let's see fuel is correct windows locked both seatbelt signs are on door lights are out MCP heading 146 257 is all correct takeoff thrust bugs done speeds done check CDU pre-flight is correct rudder and aileron trim is free and zero taxi takeoff briefing is completed and the anti-collision light is now on so we now need to ask the kind people on the ground to give us a pushback so that we can get ourselves started we need to push back and have our nose go to the left and we'll turn 90 degrees chocks are removed select the tug and here we go We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that, ready to push. Tail to the right. Parking brakes released, please. Parking brakes are released and the air conditioning is off. We're going to start engine brakes number released. two today. So, as soon as we are moving, we'll push, switch this one. Actually, here we go. Here we go. Switching to ground. And start valve has opened up. The spin has started. Here you can see the spin climbing on the N2. When it gets to 24, I'll introduce the fuel into engine number two. There we go. Engine number two, fuel. We're going to need 115 volts up here. And the spin good, the low pressure light has gone out. And we should hear, there we go. We can hear the engines. And we have 115 volts. Switching now to engine number one. Oh, they pushed us back a little bit far. Well, that's all right. We'll be fine. The star valve light has opened up. When it gets to 24, we'll introduce the fuel. There it goes. Push back complete. Parking brake set. Parking brake is set. Set. And we're going to flaps 10. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the salute release. Bats on your right and in flight. And thank you very much. And we have 115 volts showing up here too. So we are good. So now I'm going to switch to the main engines for our power, turn on the air conditioning in the back, turn off the APU, and turn off the APU here. Now I'm going to turn on the taxi lights and tell the crew we are about to start. Okay, everything is looking good. Quick cross check and we are ready to move so break off apply a little power here to get ourselves going and we're going to request the taxi to depart north it's program right at 186 ready to taxi north 
the passenger section, but then again, they get the champagne and the caviar. And what do we get up here? We get Diet Cola. Ha! Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Going to flaps two. And we're headed straight down through the valley.
enough champagne and caviar back there. Only the best for my friends, you know. Take your seats and let me bring you up to date where we are. We are one hour and 24 minutes into the flight. We are just descending through 7,500 feet. We have slowed up to about 200 nautical miles an hour. And we are just about to cross the 30 mile circle close to Luton. And then we will be able to contact Luton for landing permission. ATIS reports that the barometer is 1013, which is standard, and also that runway 7 is in use. So we were okay with the plan. So let's get ourselves set. The fasten seatbelt signs are on. The lights are on because we're below 10,000 feet and we should be landing shortly. We're on 
track. We're coming down our flight path very nicely. At Luton, we're going to veer off slightly to the right. And then we make that little turn to land.
straight at us, so I had to, it would, the TCAS told us to climb, so I did, and that got us clear. Now we're on the teardrop coming around to land, so I'm going to set the heading to 075, that would be our final approach.
Altimeter for missed approach. Quite slow. Quite slow. Quite slow. I have the runway in sight. a taxi and try to find stand seven. No, 
Now the frames per second that I've got here for Luton Airport is 25. But there's quite a few aircraft parked here so there's probably a little impact on that. And APU is engaged. Your damper is off. Now as I see it, I've got to go all the way down there, make a right to go into the main apron and then look for number seven. And there should be quite a few Ryanair planes. There's a Tui. <coughs> There's a Ryanair. Moving Oscar Hotel Julian Romeo Kilo Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Hotel Bravo Echo Alpha. Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Hotel Bravo Echo Alpha. Moving Julian Romeo Kilo. Jumbo there. Hi Ryanair. No markings on that one. Don't know whose that is. Perhaps that's the Prime Minister's plane. Ha. Uh oh. Do I have a kamikaze aeroplane here? Go on, get out of it. Well, it looks like I've got to follow him. Cheeky little devil. But the main apron is just up in there. And that's where I'm going to try to find stand seven to park at. scenery cars look at the number of cars parked in there wow okay so there is one two three four maybe it's around the corner is over there. Ah, there's more Ryanair. Look at that. Now we'll pull into seven if it is empty. If not, we'll find another one. Two Ryanair parked up there on the left. <coughs> World Travel, EasyJet. 
Wiz Air. Wiz Air is out there. So there's five. This is five. There's six up. Seven is available. Good. Here we go then. And make a swing. Stopping the clock. Taxi to the gate. One hour and fifty-one minutes. Taxi to gate six zero using taxiway Charlie Delta Echo Bravo. Taxi to gate six zero via taxiway right. Charlie Delta Echo Bravo. Orbit five minor one six. Door is open. Loot and ground. World travel. And two three ready to. Battery is off. Shutdown is complete. Well, that was interesting on the approach. Something went a little bit wrong, so I had to take control a lot sooner than I expected, but I flew it in. Flew it all the way in to land at Luton Airport. Not, not a bad landing either. There's uh, the runway slopes, you know. So there's uh, always going to be a little tricky with the landing. But passengers are going off, going through the arrivals door. We did all right. So, Kaime, I hope that you enjoyed the flights and that it met your expectations. And for everyone else, I will see you on the next flight. Ryanair 186. Bye.